And still on infrastructure, Governor Dakbo Abiodun of Ogun State has instructed the contractor handling the reconstruction of the expressway to ensure the completion of the bad section of the, of the road before the end of the year. He gave the directive while inspecting the level of progress made on the road that is expected to ease the gridlock around the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. Kazim Olowe reports. In ensuring that he delivers the road on time as promised, from State Governor that Boabiodon has inspected the ongoing Ijebu de Epe Expressway and other road projects in the state. During the inspection, he instructed the contractors to ensure that they make the road passable for the people, especially before the Yule tide. He stated that his administration was working tirelessly in ensuring that people enjoy the dividends of democracy. This stretch will now be open to more industrial activity. As you would know, that Lagos is expanding along the Lekki Corridor. So this section that we are on, about 8, 10 kilometers, should be ready in about 10 days. And they will endeavor to ensure that by Christmas, we have the entire stretch going from Ekwe to Jabodi completed. On the even distribution of projects across the zones in the state, the governor noted that most of the projects were being carried out based on the recommendations of the people in the areas and that no zone is being left behind. Our vision is to provide a focused and qualitative governance. By doing this, we have been very, very focused. We have been deliberate. We have been methodical. We've thought it through. And creating an enabling environment for a public-private sector partnership. That is what we're doing. While inspecting the 7-kilometer Imowo and the 3-kilometer Awujale Palace roads, residents trooped out in large numbers to commend him and to pray for his administration. They say his intervention has reduced the hardship faced by travelers. And we have been facing a lot of difficulties on this road. For example, there were, I'm a graduate, so I decided to use Marua, and there was a day I was going on this road, and the Marua have to turn over because of the bad effect of the road. But now, since the governor has ordered that they should be working on the road, everything has been working smoothly. The only thing that remains is just the completion of the road. Governor is still moving in progress, handling the road to Molikpa and some other sites. We are very happy about this. Other roads presently receiving the attention of the government in other zones include Elite Idiaba Road, Uwode Ilaru Road, and Wansheke Adigbe Road, among others. Kazim Olowe, TVC News, Abe Okuta. And coming up next.